With burn down applications, the key to getting good control in the fall is spraying before the first hard killing frost. Actively growing weeds take in herbicide much better, and if you've run out of growing season, you won't get nearly as much activity on perennial weeds and even annuals as you would have earlier in the fall. With the soil residual products though, you can spray right up until the soil freezes. Since you aren't necessarily counting on these types of products to do a lot of work for you in the fall anyway, as long as you get them applied and they've bound to the soil before you freeze up hard, you're in good shape. We're normally doing this application in November on our farm. Now one big consideration with residual herbicides is to use a strong rate. I'll use Valor as an example. Many farmers have used that at two to three ounces in the spring, but in the fall, four ounces is labeled for use, and that's where we've had the best luck spraying it. Since the Valor in this case may do just a little work in the fall, and it will be working right away in the spring, you've got a longer window that you expect to see control from that application. So go at the stronger rate for the best results. Also, that four ounce rate is a little too strong for a spring application with potential splash up on small soybean plants and general crop response issues. However, by putting it on in the fall and seeing snow or rain move it into the soil or tillage, we haven't seen any issues with soybeans planted the following spring.